Hey guys, welcome back to the 4D Ranch, or welcome if you've never been here before. If you haven't been here before, or even if you have, you ought to consider hitting that subscribe button, the like button, and that little bell thing. That way you'll get an alert when I post another video, and you'll never know what you're going to find at this channel. I'm doing something different every day. Just this week I've planted a food plot, built a gaming computer, and now I'm going to be fixing my daughter's 2017 Honda Accord. It's got a bad pulley. So let's get started. It's actually not that bad right now, but I don't know if you can hear that. I'm going to show you what it is. It's this pulley right here, the idler pulley. Now I'm going to show you what I'm looking at. This is the serpentine belt right here. That's the alternator. There's the uh, what's called the belt tensioner, this pulley right here. And uh, that is the culprit. So this is the part I found. Um, that's the part number. And I got this at Ego Auto Parts in, in town here. But uh, you can find them on Rock Auto, AutoZone. You can find them on Amazon. I believe, I believe Amazon had the cheapest price. So I don't know the quality of these, of the parts that were on Amazon. Um, but this one, I ended up paying about $120, I believe, for this whole assembly, which is really expensive just to replace the bearing. But it was convenient. I went ahead and picked it up. My daughter needs her car back. So um, I'll, I'll leave a link in the description for some other options. But uh, you can probably get this. I think I saw it for as cheap as $40 on Rock Auto. All right, let's see if we can get access to this thing. First, this just slides right out. This is the overflow bottle. It just slides out for the uh, overflow for the radiator. Let's see if I can get some light on it. It looks like Check this, this is a 17 millimeter. This looks like the Yeah, that's the uh, tension release. Sorry, the light is annoying here. See if I can slip the belt off. There we go. All right. Got the belt off. I don't want to take the belt all the way off. Um, I didn't get a new belt. They didn't have them in stock. So I'm just going to leave the belt there. It looks like it's in okay shape. Man. 
I don't know if I broke my ratchet or broke it loose. We'll see. Yeah, it's turning. Wow. That thing was tight. And I believe it's a really long bolt. That other nut that's holding that assembly on is a 12 millimeter. <laughs> All right, you may have better tools than me, but I wanna show you. I ended up the way to reach that bottom 12 millimeter bolt. The way I was able to reach it. Is I was able to reach it with a universal joint and a 3 8 drive 12 millimeter stock it. So I was able to reach it and break it loose with that. Let's see if we can get this thing out of here. And here's the new one. Can't even tell it's spinning. So that was the problem. For sure. Yeah, that was going to be, that wouldn't last much longer. But like I said, this whole piece, if I found this part right here, it was like $100 for just this little piston. So really, I think that's what you're paying for with the new part, mostly is the piston. And, you know, this bearing is probably <laughs> a few dollars. Um, but that's the way car parts are going nowadays, you know, uh, buying them all, complete packages, shocks, struts, they're like that, uh, with com complete, with springs. Um, so, you know, it looks like it's the same exact size. That's good. Looks like everything's going to line up. All right, let's get the new one back in.
My only advice here is wait till the engine cools. I, the GoPro just shut off because it was too hot. So that's <laughs> pretty hot down in there. Give this one more crank here. Oh yeah, that's tight. Okay. Now. got the belt back on I'm gonna show you a diagram but this is uh, what it looks like down in the car so it goes over top of the the tensioner over top of the um, alternator and then it goes around the water pump at the bottom and then it has to snake around that pulley there with the holes in it I don't know if you can see that See if I can get it down there. There you go. So the smooth side of the belt goes around that pulley and then down to the crank on the engine. All right. So that was it, guys. Pretty quick job. Um, I'm going to uh, start it up listen to it I'm pretty sure that was the problem and uh, we'll go from there Wow what a difference very quiet All right. Okay, guys, here's the parts I used, the pulley assembly. It's Gates part number 39339. I used a torque wrench, 17 millimeter wrench, boxed in wrench, 12 millimeter boxed in wrench, or combination wrench. This is an eight millimeter hex key. This is a 17 millimeter, 12 millimeter, and I used this swivel and a pry bar and I also used a, a flashlight or two. That's going to do it, guys, for the repair on my daughter's 2017 Honda Accord. Thing sounds real quiet now. We fixed the belt tensioner. Only took about an hour. A few common tools. Anybody could do this in their driveway or garage. Not a hard project at all. I uh, hope you found some useful information. If you did, consider subscribing and giving me a like. That will help me uh, keep motivated to do more videos in the future. Thanks for watching.